Hello and welcome back. My name is Vanessa Blank from Wild Woman Bushcraft. Tent, tarp, bivouac or amok. The big comparison for outdoor sleepers. There are different possibilities to protect. What sleeping position do you prefer? What season it is? Or how is the sleeping area? Every option has disadvantages or advantages. You know, I have a lot of equipment at home, um, different tents, tops, bivouac or um, amox. And I want to show you a few examples and what I think, what is the best way to sleep outdoors and why. Let's start with the tops. I prefer to sleep under tops because you can use it um, at every place. So you can choose different ways of construction and um, it is very ultralight. So when you have only your package with the top, you can save much weight. This here is my smallest one. It is a DD top. This is the magic carpet. I call it um, sausage dog garage because it is so small. So it is a little bit too small to sleep under it. It is perfect in combination with a bivouac bag or when you only need a dry space for your backpack or other equipment. Or of course for the dog or when you have only a day trip. Another top and another construction way. This here is also an DD top. Um, it is the super light with three to three meter. So uh, you can use it very variable, flexible. Um, I have it in different colors. This olive green and also a brown one. So with this size and with this fixing points, you can use it um, in every kind of um, construction. So make a construction like a tent or um, only a lean-to or like here with the amok under it. So um, you can use it like you want. And sleeping only under the top is um, close to sleep direct under the sky. Um, you can see everything around, so it is very free. I like to hear and see my area. So um, when I sleep and I hear a noise, I want to know from which size it came and what it is. And I can see everything around. Depending on construction model, you have a lot of space under the top. So you can move around like you want and this is what I prefer. And this here is a, another one, um, another top from me. It is the Pencott Green Zone top. And this camouflage optic is the best one for my area. Um, like the colors are in my forest. So um, I like to use it. But um, of course, sleeping only under on under on top could be very cold in the night. So um, when you have a construction like this and the wind come from this size, so the wind can change from time to time and then maybe you have a very cold night. I like to sleep under on top, but I prefer to make a combination with other equipment like top and sleeping bag or top and amok. You can build the construction with the top at nearly every place because you can be very flexible with it. You had a lot of space under the top and you can choose the right color for your area and the right size um, what you really need. The next one is the Amok. 
Sleeping in the Amok is a little bit of summer feeling. So sleeping close to a lake or a river into an Amok. This is what everyone had in his head when you, we talk about summer bushcraft. This here is one example. This is the DD Frontline top. I have it now for many, many years and I really like it. This here is an extra space where you can put your sleeping pad inside and the mosquito cover is fixed. So you can open it complete and um, you had a lot of space between the mosquito cover and the amok. Um, you can also put it on the ground. You don't have to sleep with this amok in the air. You can use it like a tent because here are some fixing points and you can you also um, make a construction like a tent at the ground with this one. Also an extra by the DD Frontline Amok is this snake skin. So when it rains over the day and you wa don't want that your Amok get wet, you can put this snake skin complete over your Amok and it will stay dry till you really want to go inside or till you fix some top over it. Another favorite Amok brand is Ticket to the Moon. This here is one of my Ticket to the Moon Amoks. I think I had um, seven from it. And they are not all red. Here are also different colors possible. So I had a green one, but it is actually at my forest cabin. The children have a smaller size. The children Amok, they are also great. They love them. They are blue and um, red and yellow, so you can choose the color what you want. And I know many people that use Ticket to the Moon now for many years. Um, one person used it for 20 years now, the same Amok. It is in really good quality and um, it also works after 20 years. What I love at this Amok brand is that you can fix it in minutes. So the construction strings are so easy to use. It is fixed in maybe two minutes. You can put this Amok into this small bag. It looks then like a moon, like the name ticket to the moon. And you only had to fix the tree um, strings put your hanger on it and then you can open this um, pocket and put the amok out, fix it at the other side and then it is ready in two minutes. You can use an amok only with matching trees. So you need the perfect size between two trees that you can fix there your amok. When it is too small, you sleep uncomfortable. When they are too far away and the amok is too strong, it is also uncomfortable. So you need the right trees and they also had to be stable enough to hold your weight. But you can um, use an amok also in maybe nearly impossible area, like in the mountains. When you have tree in the, trees in the mountains and the ground is full of stones and is, is hard, you can sleep comfortable over this impossible area into your sleeping, um, into your amok. Another amok brand that I like is Amok. Um, this here is a very simple one. It is the Segel. It is perfect when you just want to fix your camp very uh, in very short time because the fixing points are also very simple. And I always prefer the double size. Um, I had not much weight, so I don't really need the double size, but you had much more space in it. And um, if the children also want to come in, there is enough place. But sleeping with two persons into the amok is not really comfortable. Okay, let's be honestly. There are amoks 
there are comfortable hammocks and there are king size hammocks like this here this is another hammock from Amok this is called Drummer and this is the best Amok that I ever tried because here is so much space in it at the normal hammock you can lay only at your back like this but in this hammock you can also lay at the side and you had also so much space around you you can also change the way like you want to sleep or over the day like you want to sit because you can change the lay position with the strings here so you can put your feet down to sit in it or put your feet high to lay comfortable you can also put the area here with the back down and high so you can find your best sleeping position and this is just great this is an amok that have many features so like this one here and you have a lot of extra place to put your equipment in it here is a bottle holder you had um, a pocket here and pocket here and a lot of space here under this part so um, it, many many things from your equipment fits into your, this amok and it has also an integrated mosquito cover so um, mosquito cover is a great thing because with this extra with this future you can sleep in every season outdoors so i also sleep into the amok in winter times in combination with a mosquito cover and a candle lantern that you put at the string inside of your hammock it um, is an like an isolation cover and it is comfortable warm inside and there is another future that you can buy um, it is called underkilt this is um, like an extra part that you put under your hammock for more isolation so you can close the mosquito cover also when you lay inside and it has an other extra when you are not too close to the hammock nobody can see where um, lay inside if this is a man or a woman um, it is a little bit like invisible and this amok has also another extra you can fix at your feet and at the head and branch into the hammock and then this part here stands a little bit away you have a distance between your feet and your head to the mosquito cover because um, when the mosquito cover lays direct at your skin the mosquito can bite you through the cover so you have to um, have to have a distance between your body your skin and the cover you can buy the hammock as a set with the combination of hammock sleeping pad and top or you can buy it once by once this top here fits perfect to the size of the hammock and you can also use it um, at the drummer segel the orange one that i show you show you before um, but you can also use another top that is big enough um, a very important important point at this hammock is that you can use it only with a um, sleeping pad so the sleeping pad is here under this gray area and without the sleeping pack it um, would, would not um, work it is only possible with the sleeping pad because this gives the amok the stability i love to sleep in a hammock at every season of the year in the winter only with the combination um, with the mosquito cover and on candle lantern but um, sleeping in a hammock is a little bit summer feeling so um, i love to sleep in it um, there are different types and different ways to 
construct to make the construction of the amok. Um, there are very simple ones like the, the amok segel or the ticket to the moon and others like the um, DD or the amok. This needs a little bit more space to fix it. But um, you lay away from the ground. You can lay also in rough area where the ground is not good to sleep at, direct at the ground um, and it is very comfortable to sleep here in it. The next sleeping option is bivouac bag. So uh, there are two different bivouac bags. There is the normal bivouac bag like this here and the emergency bivouac bag. The emergency bivouac bag is a very small um, package which have hikers in your backpack when they are in the mountains and they had to spend the night there. Um, but this is only for emergency, this is not really high quality in the most times. This here is a military bivouac bag. Um, it is very good because you sleep so close to the ground and you are at the area around so good as invisible. When you sleep in a hammock you sleep very high and when the people come closer to your camp they can see you. With this one you are like invisible. It is enough space to sleep in it, but there is not enough space for your backpack. So if it rains or snow, you need an extra protection for your backpack. Um, and when it rains or snow and you build your, um, your bivouac bag like this, rain or snow can fall direct here into your entrance. So it is better you make a combination with the bivouac bag and a small top over here, then you have a dry entrance. Sleeping inside of the bivouac bag can protect you from insects or for snakes or something else because you can close it complete. But um, the material lays direct at your feet so it can be very cold through it. There is only a space between your body and the material here at the head. Everything else it is uh, um, like here very close to your body and this can make your body cold. <laughs> This here is not a bivouac bag, but it came really close to a bivouac bag. It is the Wexel Guardian. It is only a waxed cotton bag, so it is like a sleeping bag, but only with cotton. You can sleep with this here um, in combination with your sleeping bag or without. So when it is hot in the summer you can sleep only with this here outdoors. It is waxed so you had a little bit protection from rain or also from sparkles from the fire. So when you want to sleep outdoors and not with a sleeping bag this here is a perfect alternative. As I start with bushcraft, I have no idea what is important by sleeping bags. But sleeping outdoors is a very important part by doing bushcraft. Because when you don't sleep well, you don't will be lucky with this outdoor activity. And you don't want to do it often because you sleep so bad. So a sleeping bag is an important point and you had to look at you have a really good one what um, has some great isolation and can warm your body. I prefer since a few years only one brand. I know there are a lot of different brands at the market. Um, it is, there are so much that it is very hard to choose one. But um, I have the Gritzy bags because I had this brand since a few of years and they had a really good quality. I had nine different sleeping bags from them at home um, for different seasons and also for the children. So I like them a lot. 
Like I say, I have about nine different sleeping bags at home from Gritzy Bag, but this year are my two favorites. This here is the Nature and this here is the Survival that uh, came out um, a few months ago. And this here is like I sleep into my bed at home because, like the name said, nature, um, it is only cotton here and it feels so comfortable. It is not closed with a zipper, like you know it from the most brands. This here is closed with those wooden parts, so also a nice uh, future. And I, I love this. But this here is um, normally for camping and not for trekking or bushcraft because this here had a little bit more weight than a normal sleeping bag. This is the Greasy Bag Survival Sleeping Bag. Um, I don't use it so often because it came out only a few months ago. But I use it a few times and there are some features that I really like. So the color is great for outdoors. You see it fits perfect here in the area from the forest. Um, it has here some points that you don't slip away at your sleeping pack, at your sleeping pet. There are three of them. And there is also a protect for the zipper. Maybe you know it when you open or close your zipper, it could be that um, um, piece of, of the cotton came inside of the zipper and then nothing goes. So this here has an also an extra protection that it cannot happen. And when you sleep outdoors and um, there are many mosquitoes around, your whole body is protect with the um, sleeping pad sleeping bag but your face not and this sleeping pad had an, a mosquito cover that you can um, use it um, so it is an extra combination part or you can use it not like it looks now this is the mosquito cover that you can integrate it with the sleeping bag so it is really great um, with this you are completely protect. I think it looks a little bit silly. I can't see myself in the camera, but um, yeah, it will. It, I'm sure it looks funny. The next possibility to sleep is a tent. I started with tents because before I doing bushcraft, I do camping. So this was a, lo a long way from camping till bushcraft. Um, I had nine different tents at home, um, small sized or big sized for many people and also tents for winter time. And this here is one of my favorites. It is the Wexel Pathfinder tent. So um, I like the color because it looks like the, the leaves from beech trees in the spring and it had a nice uh, a few nice extras so the only bad thing by tent is that you need a um, fixed space so you can choose how much space you need it like when you sleep under on top it needs exactly this space like how big it is Into a tent you have an area to retreat. Some people don't like when others can watch them sleeping when you are outside with a group and inside of the tent you are completely protected um, from the views from others. You also are protected from insects and um, you can use it when the weather is very bad. So I have I, I like it when I have an extra space where I can put my backpack in it, like this here, or my dog can sleep here. And there is also not um, enough space inside that I can use my dog or my backpack and put it also into the tent. Um, it is important 
that you have a double skinned tent because otherwise you will have a lot of condensation into the tent and when you came with your knees or another part uh, from your body to the the skin of the tent you um, became a lot of water on your body and then also your sleeping bag is wet and this is really bad when you are um, at an outside for a several day trip. I think it is always bad to buy a tent into the World Wide Web only by seeing the photos um, because there are sometimes some extras um, some features that you see it first when you had the tent directly um, in front of your eyes. Like um, here inside I have some ways to get fresh air into the tent. This is also a good point for the condensation um, part and um, yeah, outdoors there are some extras how you can fix the tent. Here there is an extra part over the zipper so the tent came water through it and you see those features um, often first when you have the tent before uh, close to your eyes so you can watch it directly. I like to use this tent when I am outdoors for a several day trekking trip because there is enough space to stay in it also as a rainy day. Um, I can put all my equipment inside of the tent and it is also possible that another person sleep here inside of the tent. The old Shugul tents are very big and had much weight. But the time change and weight is an important point when you are outdoors. I am a very small person, I can't carry much weight with me. And here the Nordisk Klofoten tent came. It has only 500 gram and it fits into this small pocket. Everything of the tent fits here inside. Isn't it great? This tent has only the important things, so there are no extras, no futures, because um, so you can save weight. It is enough to sleep into um, the tent. I sleep um, a few weeks ago into this tent with my oldest son, so there is enough place to sleep, but not more. Here are no pockets inside no more features, only the tent, but this is enough because um, with this weight I, I don't know another tent with only so um, a small weight. And the skin is also um, so thin, I think um, it would not um, be possible to sleep at a um, stony ground or when you have some branches under your tent because I think um, it can be, um, be damaged very soon. This means not that this tent has not a good quality, it is, it is really high quality, but the skin is so thin that I am afraid that I hurt it. So um, when I had a stony ground I prefer to put another part, under, another top under it, um, so I can protect this, this skin here at the ground. The price is also very high, so there is always um, there are always equipment tools that are better um, or that have not so much weight, like your old one, and you had to choose what is really important for you. Do I really need new equipment or? do I have enough. But for me weight is a really important point and um, so when there is something where I can save a lot of weight I will choose this and prefer this. This is really high priced this tent but hey 500 gram. This year is not on sleeping equipment but um, I like to use this small chair for stay outdoors because you sit away from the ground 
in the winter time the, the ground is very cold and uh, it is very comfortable to, to sit on uh, with this one i had different sizes from it smaller bigger and um, another chair that um, some people prefer to use it by fishing so i really love them this year are only a few examples from my equipment. I had so much more at home. You know I start with camping, then I came to bushcraft and over the years I've got a lot of equipment. So if you want that I make another video about my equipment, for example only on um, top video or only on tent video, it is possible that I can do it. Please let me know it and write it for me here down in the comments. You also find the wool equipment that I show you today down here in the video description. There is a link and here you can find out the size and the weight and everything else. So thank you for watching and I want to know now what you prefer to protect yourself to be protected in the night when you are outdoors. What do you prefer? Top, tent, bivouac bag, hammock or sleeping under the sky? Let me know and write it for me down in the comments. Thank you for watching. We see us again in the next video. Have a great time. Bye bye. Normally when I am outside I had only one sleeping set up with me and be ready to leave into 10 or 20 minutes and now I had everything <laughs> fixed here and of course it starts to rain so I had to hurry now. So much trouble, so much um, hurry and then it was just a short rain. <laughs> we will see us.